What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today I'm going to show you automation mode latch. Now latch is very easy, basically you want to use this at the start of automation or at the end of automation when you want to erase some data points that you've inputted. Now basically what latch is, it basically, it kind of just listens to the last entry data that you inputted and then it stays at that level throughout until you change another parameter. So with that said, I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and A on my keyboard and as usual you can either go here to turn it on. Oh, that's right. I want to turn it to latch. Or you can go down here right above the meters and hit latch. Other way is okay. And again, you don't have to hit record to record automation. All you have to do is hit play and then move the um, the data that you want to move. So I'm going to go ahead and play. And then I'm going to move this fader right here and you'll see what happens. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to move the fader up. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move it down. Now, as you can see right there, what latch does, it kind of follows what I move. And then once I let go, it stays at that last data entry point. And then I move it again, and then it stays at that last data entry point. That's why I said you can either use this at the beginning of your mix downs or at the end. At the beginning, you just kind of kind of want to balance your levels out with some automation. So you kind of go ahead and do this with latch and it's kind of easy. It remembers all your data points. And um, at the end, let's say you want to erase some of this data right here. Let's say this is a little too high volume. I just want to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and play. I'll bring it down. And then it'll go ahead and it'll erase that data right there, as you can see. So latch can be used as a multiple variations to delete data, enter data, whatever it may be. But as you can see, it's very straightforward. Move a data point, and when you let go, it's going to follow that last entry point and record throughout that for your automation. So with that said, if you had any other questions on Latch, ask me in the comment section. And as usual, more good videos always coming soon, guys. So remember to rate. Actually, remember to subscribe, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Later.